may remember this lollipop from Christmas as part of the, my Christmas Day dispensary run. As I said in that video, I've tried a number of cannabis infused lollipops, but this is my first time trying them from a dispensary. The regulated lollipop, nutritional factoids on there. Not a whole lot going on, but that's how it goes with lollipops. Obviously with a product like this, it's going to be pretty tough to get a single dose. I mean, it's a lollipop, right? It's kind of all or nothing. You can set it aside somewhere. We all did that when we were kids, right? And then you get like a couple hairs on there, some wind and some fuzz. If you have a better track record of taking care of lollipops than I do, feel free to go that route. But for me, I'm putting the whole thing to use in one fell swoop. Although it's gonna take some time because it's a lollipop. Now, the, the big question that I had for this one, and I'm sure you're probably thinking it at home, what does magical soda flavor taste like? About to find out right now. That tastes like cola. That's actually pretty fantastic. Doesn't taste a lot like cannabis. And if you look on here, look on the packaging, let's see where is it? There we go, the testing data. This entire lollipop has 47.9 milligrams of THC with no traceable amounts of CBD. So here in Oregon, we have an edible THC milligram cap of 100. It used to be 50 and then not too long ago, they bumped it up to 100. So most of the edibles that you see now in Oregon have 100 milligrams of THC in them. There are still some of these though that are in the 50 range. Whether this had 50 milligrams of THC or 100 milligrams or 72 or anywhere in between, I'd still buy it because it tastes amazing. Like I was saying, no cannabis taste really, it just tastes like a soda hard candy on a stick. For the price of these lollipops, you can see them right there. Everyday price for this magical soda one, and I got a grape one if you remember that in the video. $7.20 unless you get a discount like I did. We're cut to $5.04. You can get 100 milligram edibles for around that price on the lower end, maybe a little bit more. So from a purely THC content per edible perspective. You can get a little more bang for your buck out there, but you'll be hard pressed to find something that tastes as delicious as this, assuming that you like cola flavor. And even if you don't like cola flavor, I got a grape one and they had a handful of other flavors. Definitely gonna check them all out. There's some distinct advantages to consuming cannabis this way. Obviously it doesn't require a lighter. Consume it on a windy day, just as easy as you can consume it on a non-windy day. If you take this packaging out of the equation, it just looks like your average everyday lollipop. So if you're walking down the street or you're at a picnic, going on a hike at a highly populated area, no pun intended, cannabis lollipop is a good option. Put some of these in your pocket or purse or fanny pack or wherever you keep your edibles when you're on a field trip, bust them out as needed. How long it'll take you to consume it obviously depends on if you're gonna chew it or not, right? Like that old grumpy owl on the Tootsie Pop commercials. You know what I'm talking about. A one, one a two, two a three. 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 Brenda's Cannabis Infused Lollipops. Definitely a fan now. Find them at dispensaries near you.